How's it going? Uh, we're so happy to have you. I'm I so happy to be back. No, what to introduce you as? I mean, I just want to say all around artist. We got singer, we got songwriter, we got actor, we got boy with the bluest eyes in America here with us today. Thank you. <laughs> You're all the above. Oh but gosh, hi. that's a long introduction. It thank is, you. <laughs> but you know, you've got a long resume yeah, right now. Thank you, thank you. Teen Wolf, we talked about it. Wrapped about almost going on a year ago now. Yeah. Um, Right? That's crazy. 2018 is almost over. Almost over. It's but Team Wolf ended in 2017. <laughs> yes, a year ago. I mean, yeah, your about life. A year ago. I mean, you were already on the map a little bit, but it really put you on the map. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, Team Wolf just has such like an occult following. It does. It's, it's like very much a little pack. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm gonna shut up. Um, <laughs> oh, well, pack. But, I'm slow. Yeah. yeah anyway, I got you but it's it's such like a little family. So it was really cool to be welcomed with such like open arms and. Everyone, like the, the minute like one person found out I was on the show, that like it just started going from one person to the next of the Literally. fan base, of the community. But if you went back to yourself before being, you know, on Teen Wolf to now, what's yeah. the biggest change? The biggest change would be, I feel a lot more confident in myself. Good, okay. Which is cool. It's like a really weird thing to talk about. But no, like, I like um, it. I just remember before, like, I was insecure and like goofy, but I was like insecure about my goofiness. And now, like, I'm still goofy, but I don't feel, like, bad about it. You shouldn't. I, like, I don't really feel bad about it. I feel like now, like, it's, and I always say, like, being weird is, like, kind of cool. Like, who wants mm -hmm. to really just hang out and, like, be normal? Yeah, yeah. It's no fun. Well, I just thought that everyone was normal, but no one's what normal. What did you know? It's, like, little did I know. No, Everyone's got their issues. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I, <laughs> I like fit right that, in. though. That's, <laughs> yeah. like, a good growing, you know. It's, it was very much, like, a good, nice little coming of age experience. And, like, and, like <laughs> what's the craziest thing maybe someone's done to get your attention? Has anyone, like, ever howled? I'm just imagining that people have done some weird things. Oh. Come out of the woodworks, literally. I've definitely, like one time I was in a diner in London. This sounds like such a weird story to start off with, but um, it, it, was <laughs> right, it was right next to this like tourist trap area, right? Okay. So people were just walking down the street. So and you were asking for it, right? I was pretty much yeah. asking for it. And I was just hanging out with my dad, having some coffee. Um, <laughs> and this like little family walked by of like, I want to say like a 12 year old and a 17 year old and a 15 year old. And they, they, all, they all walked by and they all started literally howling and they were doing like the little like at, in the window and I didn't even notice it like everyone else was like in the restaurant they were like what, what's going on um and then my dad was like oh but buddy you, you can there's some people out there and then the waiter came in and he was like uh hey by the way um someone wants to take a photo with you outside I can't really bring them in but like do you, you want to go take a photo with them <laughs> it was just a really that was like a funny soliciting experience. they've never seen before yeah like, it was like it was my outside. favorite way that I've ever been approached That's for good. a selfie so. well it worked it worked, it worked. Them, it, worked. it definitely did. Okay, well, you've done a lot since then. <laughs> yes. And especially musically, because I've seen a little bit of Sideswipe, which is yes, yes. a little like sneak peek of it, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, God, that is definitely. on YouTube right now. It's on YouTube right now. Um, so there's like little baby videos out there that we made for the tour, of actually. Of him as a baby. No, of me kidding. as a baby. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, but it's not um, the music video. Is what but it's saying, not the music right? video. Okay. I don't know if Sideswipe is going to have a music video. Okay. But. Excitingly enough, yes. the EP will have a music video. And when I say the EP, I don't mean like a couple songs. I mean like the whole thing is going to be a video. And it's going to have like a narrative with characters and the setting that I can't really talk about yet because we're not done with it. But okay. it'll be really fun. And so it's so, going to be something I think, I'm guessing I can watch over and over again and pick up something new each time. Exactly, okay, exactly. So I really want to like reward people for like kind of analyzing mm -hmm. things a little bit more. So I'm going to be leaving little clues and little telephone numbers people can call and little scavenger hunts. <laughs> you can I'm find it, really if you extra. watch it a thousand times, you can somehow find his phone number out in that. Ooh, maybe not my that phone up, number. I have no idea. Maybe not, not my phone, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the concept behind it, side swipe, yes. if I'm understanding, it's pretty direct, right? And it's, it's pretty direct. And it's that yeah. basically you'll text me at midnight, but you don't respond during, during the, the day. During the day. It's just like when you have something really great going with somebody and it's a really lovely yeah. relationship. Uh -huh. Like we're having a great time right now, but right? then something just rubs you the wrong way. I don't know, the, people only want you in certain scenarios or certain settings. And so I just okay. kind of wrote this song, not as like, uh, you, you're, you're the worst and this is a diss track. It's just like, if anything, it's a song about not getting in your head about being rejected and just like knowing that that's okay, if anything. It is, and yeah. it's hard to accept. It, it's like, it's hard to accept at first, but like, I'm an actor, I get rejected all the time. It's so like your <laughs> job to get rejected, It's, it's my right? job. Um, and there's like a lot of like discourse on social media about like, that feeling of like feeling like an outsider. That's so like a really strong theme in the EP and I really wanted to put that out there because I, I feel like I have a bit of a responsibility. Like the communities that people form for Teen Wolf specifically, uh -huh. they tend to be um, like really creative and really artsy and a lot of them like deal with like social anxiety issues of when course, they're going yeah. to school and like it's really, the internet is amazing because the internet is amazing because 
you can find communities and you can right. talk with people without like the anxiety of like seeing them face to face or something. Well, that and I think yeah. it's, like what you're saying is something that feels maybe like it's isolated. You're isolating yeah. yourself because you feel like you're the only one going through this. You're letting them exactly. know that actually, no, I am too. Yeah, and yeah. A whole community of so us here for exactly, you. and like like I said, I was that kid on Tumblr in right. high school. So it's like it's really cool to be a part of that community and kind of have a platform with it and just like get to talk to them directly. Well, we love you. We love Sideswipe. And of course, Thank we you. want to hear more from you, which <laughs> I think you told me, or I can maybe say, it's coming at least within the year. It's which coming Which is almost over, <laughs> everybody. So oh. I gave you a pretty small time frame. A pretty small time frame. But no, most of the songs are done. We just have to re record them. Like with okay. a fancy studio setting. Oh, one of those. Yeah, one, one of those fancy Santa studios. Style. So on that note, we love having you. Everyone, make sure you check out Freud Gutierrez and his EP coming out soon. This was our very professional, this was very professional interview. interview. So nice having you. And everyone, so nice make having sure you, too. you tune in next time. Goodbye. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>